So what we'll do real quick is just set up a, a custom conversion um, and a custom audience. And we'll change out the link real quick um, to that page if, okay. if you haven't changed it out already. I so think that we did that when we were on our last call. Change out the link? Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So. Okay, so then let's um let's go to the page real quick. Let's go to the to the cartridge page real quick. So let's um yeah, say progress, publish live. And then let's just grab this link really quick. And all we need is um is the domain. So get the page link. You don't need the HTTPS or the www, just yeah, just the domain. Yeah, so let's set up a custom audience and a custom conversion real quick. So um, over here, we'll go, we'll go create, actually from here, that's fine, create custom conversion. And then go ahead and, um, and here's the deal too, you're, you're going to be using that same pixel, right? Because you can. Yeah, because I won't be using the seller one. Anymore. Okay, perfect. So let's, let's stay with that pixel. So what we'll do is we'll click on select your own category right there in blue, select down, select your own category. And let's just call this one, hit the recommended drop down. Let's call this one lead. So this could be a lead for sure. Um, and there's many different different options here as well, but the most relevant and common one is, is lead. You know, once they opt in, they land on the thank you page, it's a lead. So go ahead and paste in the link there. And then at the very, very top, name it. So this will be, just name it. The other one was seller guide leads. This is whatever real estate express leads or whatever whatever you want to name it okay cool and then and then create and then now what we're going to have to set up is um go to web configurations and one thing you want to do real quick too since you have it um since you have it since you have it um copied just open up a new tab and just paste it let's at least open it up in a, in a live live page yeah right here Perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to um, the business settings. And then right here, we'll click on licensed, then what? And then we'll go manage events. And then edit. Okay, cool. And then the green one, add event. And then hit that drop down to the left, the pixel one. Click on that, choose a pixel. Yeah, click on that one. And then just go to custom conversion. And then you should see your custom conversion there. Perfect. Real Estate Express leads. And then you're going to click on apply. Okay, cool. And then yes, I confirm and then apply. Okay, cool. Okay, you're good. Okay, perfect. So that was that was a super, super important step. Um, yeah. Now what we want to do is, is go back to um, custom conversions. So um, I don't know if that was the other tab, if this was a new, yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah, perfect. And then close this out. And then what you're, what you're going to want to do is go to the actual page so go back to the page, to the cartridge, yeah, the page. Yeah, and then refresh this page. And you have, you have your pixel on, actually, is the pixel on this page? Actually, I don't think there, I don't think the pixel is on this page. Let's add this pixel real quick. Okay, yeah, so let's add I the pixel. It. Okay, so we're setting up a custom conversion. We're gonna add the pixel and then we're gonna set up a custom audience. So go back to the business settings real quick. And then um, just click on the three lines to the top left and then go back to, um, yeah, click on that one, go back to events manager, click on it again, events manager. And then just go to that pixel and click on, so scroll down in the middle and then go to um, add events right there to the left, add events, and then from a new website. And then install code manually and then hit the green copy code and that's it. So now go back to, go back to Kartra, go back to the actual editing, not the pay, not this one, the live one, but go to the editing and then just click on settings to the left. And then um, let's go tracking code and let's just add this pixel. So scroll to the bottom, very, very bottom, and then paste it in there. Okay, cool. Apply and then save progress, publish live, and then um, and then and then go back to the live page tab and then just refresh that one. Okay, publish page. Okay, cool. So now close this out and then go back to that, open up that page. That's, yeah, you can return a dashboard. Okay, cool. So just go back to that live page, the other one, the live, the live cartridge page, and then refresh this one. Okay, so if you refresh it, now the yeah. pixel is being read. 
Um, and then also the custom conversion should have been red as well. So click on the pixel helper. So we'll always wanna just double check that. So there's your pixel. Um, refresh it one more time. Um, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the, um, the business settings, go to, go to, let's see, click on either one, click on X out, X out that one, just so we're not confused or I'm not confused, X out, um, actually this is the only business. Okay, so click on the top, the three lines in the top left and go to, um, go to events manager. And then the blue triangle to the left, go to custom conversions and, and that conversion should be active. Refresh this page one more time. Okay, so it's just taking, it's taken a little bit, a little bit to, to, um, to activate, but normally that real estate express leads that will go active. So um, give it a few more, give it a few more seconds because you just added the pixel. So now real quick, let's, do, let's click on the three lines to the left and go to audiences. And let's just set up this, this custom audience real quick. Okay, so you have seller guide leads, scheduled appointments. Okay, cool. So create audience and then um, custom audience. And let's just go and go to website and then next. And then let's just go back to um, the, the page, the live Karcher page, and then just copy that link. Not the whole thing, just the domain. So just the domain. Okay, copy. And then, and then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go to the events, all website visitors. So here we're setting up a custom audience, right? So all website visitors, click on, on that and then go down to specific people who visit specific. And then um, what you wanna do, since this is an audience of those who opted in, right? These are people who land on the thank you page. Go ahead and paste it in there, the link. What you wanna do um, on the retention is, is, is just max it out. Click on the blue one. So whenever you paste it in and you see a drop down, click on the drop down. So the thirty, we're gonna change that to to I think the max is either one eighty or or three sixty five. Try try three sixty five. Yeah. So it's one one eighty. Yeah, it's one eighty. Okay. So then now you'll scroll down and just name the audience, and this would be um, well, let's say Express Leads. What 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 I name the audience is exactly what I name the custom conversion. Okay. So um, okay. but, but when you're setting up an audience for anything else, then, then it could be a name for anything else. But in this case, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the audience for the actual thank you page. So I'll always try to match it. Same name for both. So yeah, so there it goes there. So create audience and there, there's that. So as you really start to really crank it out and run conversion ads and, and get people to opt in, this will be an audience that you'll always want to exclude from future ads. Okay. Hit done, click on done. Or if you, if on, on, on the flip side, or it could be an audience that you target. You know, it could be an audience. Hey guys, this is Anastasia. Just wanted to shoot a quick video. Who out there has already set up their, 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 their prep exam course and who, who's, who's in the course now? C comment below if, if you guys are in the course now. That could be an engagement ad that you run specifically to those who opted in because here's the deal some are gonna those that opt in not everyone's gonna activate their their discount right 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 away i should say right away not everyone's gonna do it right away mm -hmm. right so so maybe i want to run an ad to those that opted in and and maybe see who who is who is who is actually registered for it yep. you know that could be something i just spent a hundred bucks on just randomly if you have it just if you you know have more to spend this month. Okay, cool. hundred bucks. I'm going to run an engagement ad and just get a, a shitload of people to, to, to comment on, on, on this post and, and, and really, and that's great branding as well for you. You know, um, that could be really good branding. It could be just really good staying top of mind, um, running it to that. But normally when you're not just running that ad for the, cause that, that type of an ad is really kind of running it because I have more to spend and, and, and I don't really give a shit right now. I have, I have money. I'm good. Let, let's just run it for the hell of it. Right. That's that. But normally 99% of the time you're going to be excluding that audience from future ads. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that's that, um, go to the three lines real quick. So that was pixel. That was custom conversion. That was custom audience. 
And normally that Sogoro events manager, um, normally that act that custom conversion um review each limited conversion okay so you're you're good you're good there let's see scroll down a bit okay cool so there's, it's just click on aggregated event measurement let's just double check this real quick aggregate and then scroll down and then click on configure web events so we should see ours over here okay so license okay click on the licensed so this and then yeah so that's that's good okay cool so you're you're good there so click on the the triangle to the left and then go to um custom conversions normally it's active right away but this is just taking a few more a few a few a little longer than than normal refresh the page real quick the carter page the live carter page and then go back and refresh the business the business setting page the the facebook okay. one mm -hmm. yeah refresh this one Normally it goes active right away, but this is, it's just taking a little longer than normal. But now as you go in and, and, and cl click the three lines, go to the, go to ads manager, we should at least see it um, in. And if we don't, then just give it a little bit, a little bit of time and we'll eventually see it, but click on the green um, create and then just go to conversions and then go continue. And then you'll go housing, special ad category, housing, and then um, just go next. Let's see if it if it shows up over here yet. And if it doesn't, then give it a little bit of time. So yeah, so sometimes you come here and it's blank. So you just click and then scroll down. Let's see, give, give yourself a little bit more room. Click, yeah, there we go. There we go, it's right there, perfect. So it's right there, it's right there. So it's good, we're good. It just hasn't gone active on the custom conversion side yet, but it's, but it's there. So- <laughs> So what happened last time where we couldn't get it to go active? I'm, that's the same where it says here, custom conversion isn't active. That's the same thing that happened on the last one. Well, it it's there. It, the reason why it's not inactive is because Facebook hasn't hasn't read the visit yet. So we visited the page. We visited it. We visited it. We right. refreshed it a few times already. Facebook yeah. just hasn't read it yet. And normally they read it instantly. But um, but. If it hasn't been visited in a few days, then it goes inactive. If it hasn't been installed yet, it, it's 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 not installed yet. But in this case, we just added the pixel. We just we just set it up. So again, normally nine out of ten times it goes instantly, but in this case, it's it's actually taken a few minutes. But the fact that it shows there, we're good. As long as it's there, don't even don't even bother this notification right here. Your custom conversion isn't active. It is active. We landed on it. We refreshed the page a few times already. It's active, but um, this is just a, a, a fluke. Just don't even don't even mind that one. Okay. So you're good. So that's pixel custom audience and and custom conversion.